So I just got done working at the dispensary today for like nine and a half hours. And uh, I'm pretty motivated. I came to this new Franklin Township skate park the other day and I am curious to see how many tricks I could actually film here, you know, putting my mind to it. I don't know how many I'm gonna do. Anyway, let's see what the warm up's like. <laughs> That was yesterday. This is today. I got about an hour and a half before I have to go into the dispensary and work the rest of the day and close the store there. So I'm going to try to pack in as many tricks as I possibly can for you guys right now. And I did decide that like when editing this, I'm just going to like chop all these tricks up like in the order that I film them in just to make it easier on myself. <laughs> up with that title instead you clicked on this video and you got like four and a half minutes of skateboarding how dare i but the title is true uh it's been about two solid weeks since i quit my board spot I, 
I shouldn't say quit. Uh, I actually should say like parted ways with my board sponsor. A lot of you did already like reach out to me on Instagram and kind of ask like, hey, like what was up with that? Or like, you know, why was I riding different boards? Like, did I make a switch? So I haven't said anything about it. And I just thought that maybe this would kind of be like a, a good way to just like kind of tell you guys like what happened, like why, how did I leave? And before I get into it, I do want to say that there was no bad blood with me leaving one skateboards. It was actually a, a pretty tough decision. You know, like I've been riding for one for like nine, almost 10 years now. And AJ Cohn, who owns the company, me and him have known each other basically almost over half of my life. And, and we've been friends and, and he's been like a, a mentor to me. I first met AJ when I was 12. I entered a skateboarding contest in Lakewood, New Jersey, and he was the MC of that contest. And he was also the MC of a contest series called the Beast of the East. And I competed in all of those contests. They were like all over the place every single month. So in a way he kind of like watched me like grow and progress in skateboarding. Um, but when I was like a teenager and the Beast of the East contest stopped, I obviously didn't run into him, but years later as a like 24, I, I think I was 24 when I ran into him again, uh, as an adult and things were much different for me in my life at that time. Like, uh, at, at 24, I had just gotten done with my second ACL replacement surgery. Like my first knee surgery, I had torn my ACL, my MCL, my meniscus, and I shifted my kneecap to the side. So it was like a completely like reconstructive knee surgery. And, uh, after the second time I had pretty much like put my place myself in a pretty dark place. Um, I was not doing well, like mentally or physically at all. You know, obviously that was like both of the surgeries back to back. It was almost like four years of recovery time. And obviously I wasn't skating and my whole life, like back then, it, even now, like my, my life like is skateboarding. Like I eat, sleep, breathe, shit, piss, bleed, skateboarding. Like that's kind of how it's always been. So when that was kind of gone from me for four years, instead of like doing the things that I should have been doing, which like I should have been like rehabbing my knee and like doing like physical therapy and like staying fit, I was not doing that. I was just like really depressed. It kind of like felt like my life was over. It sounds kind of like over dramatic now, like saying it um, now that I'm like, you know, much older, but at the time it, it really felt like world ending and it led me to start drinking like really heavily and just not taking care of myself or my body and, and just being really unhealthy and making really stupid decisions. And, and because I was like just drinking all day and being a shithead and, um, you know, as a result of all of those things, I was at a really bad state of mind mentally, but I was also not in a good, like I was not in a good shape physically either. Like I was at like 220 at my worst weight. And granted now I'm, I've like gotten much healthier and gotten my, my shit together and like, am back on track uh but when i had ran into aj as a 24 year old i wasn't and i was extremely overweight and obviously that displayed in my skateboarding and i remember when i ran into him he was kind of like surprised because like he was like dude like i didn't even know that like you had gotten another surgery like i had heard that you got in one but like he didn't know and and like we we skated together for like an hour we just kind of ran into each other at a skate park and um, he was like, dude, you know, like, you still got it. Like when you skate, like you could tell like when you do tricks that you could still do this. It's just like, you just have to like, get your shit together and like, you know, stop being unhealthy and like take care of yourself and like skate more and, and practice. And, and, you know, it was him 
you know, at that point in my life when I was like really low and like every company that was flowing me at that time either went out of business or had stopped flowing me. So I was just kind of like, whatever, like wasn't even really trying to like get back into like competitive skateboarding or anything like that. Um, but AJ, in a sense, he kind of like lit a fire under me because he was like, listen, dude, like, you know, I own this company, it's called One Skateboards and I'll always make sure that you have a board to ride, um, you know, and you just gotta like take care of yourself and like, you know, stop like doing unhealthy things. And, and you know, if you wanna skate, like just come skate. You know, he was there for me as a friend, as a skater at a time when I felt like nobody else really was. Um, and he started flowing me boards for one. And over the years, I had slowly just started to get my rhythm back and uh, I ended up getting back into a much better physical shape and mental state and riding for one. And years later, I turned pro for one. And, you know, AJ put my name on a board and things. So like, yeah, when it came to like today, like now, like I'm, I'm not riding for that company anymore. And you know, the, the reason why, you know, is it, it's, it's tough for me to even say it's, it's just kind of like, I, I feel like I'm at a, a point in my life where I'm just like, kind of like ready for like a new chapter and moving on from one, uh, you know, I was, I was as straight up as I could be about it, you know, and, and the conversation I had with AJ it was emotional, you know, it was, it was tough to have that, but, you know, at the end of everything, you know, he's my friend. So he was really supportive of the decision that I made and obviously wished me the best on my journey. And, you know, we're obviously still going to be friends and go skate and stuff, but you know, it, it was, it was kind of hard. It, it, it's, it's funny too, when you really think about it, because as I'm saying this out loud, it almost sounds like I just like broke up with a girlfriend, but like, nah, it's, 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 it's not that serious, but you know, it, it is, it's, it's a relationship that you've had with a company with people. And in my case, it was for nine, almost 10 years. Anyway, did I switch to a new board company? Um, the answer is Officially, unofficially, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, so the company that I did get an offer from and that uh, I am like riding their boards and um, you know, it, it, it's just not like publicly like officially announced yet and there's a couple reasons why. Uh, mainly this company that I'm switching to, they are a very new brand. They've done like only a couple runs of boards. They're getting ready to do their next run. It's gonna drop right around winter time of this year. And they have really high quality wood and great boards with an awesome shape and, and perfect concave. But aside from that, they also have really awesome art. It's not like officially announced because there isn't like an official team yet. Like. Obviously, I'm not going to be the only person that's going to be riding for this company and they don't have like a full team like ready to announce or drop yet. And I think the whole idea behind it is that they want to announce it all at once to kind of make it a little better. So because of all that, I don't really want to like say like the brand or the company just yet. Um, but obviously like I am riding their boards, you guys will probably see hints at who the brand is, uh, throughout the next couple videos. And obviously like when it does become official and publicly announced, I will let you guys know. And I'm sure you will hear about it. I'm sure there's going to be like a video. I know I would at least like to have a video part done for them to drop with like an official announcement. But with that being said, you know, that's just a little update of what's been going on with my life. I hope everything with all of you has been going smoothly. I hope none of you are having to slave away at your full-time jobs and you guys are just rocking out and killing it at life. But unfortunately, you know, I get it. And, and I also have to slave at my job, which I am going to 
get ready to go to sleep for because I got to wake up early tomorrow. Thank you guys. If you made it to the end of this video and it's your first time at my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. And I upload like a couple times a week. So I'll see you guys on the next one.